Hello. Louisiana Beer Reviews, we're kicking off the holiday season with Trader Joe's Old Fashioned Eggnog. But it's not Louisiana Beer Reviews, it's Louisiana Eggnog Reviews. Louisiana Eggnog Reviews, we're kicking off the holiday season with Trader Joe's Old Fashioned Eggnog Liqueur. Yeah, now this liqueur is made with, I had to shake it because you see it's settled, so you're saying shake it, like this says on the bottle, shake it, shake it. It's from a company called Levesque. Corporation. I'll look them up and they're, they're a real company. It's not some fake name and they just bring in all kind of liquors from around the world, okay? Mm. It's eggnog liqueur. It was... Because Trader Joe's and stuff, they, they, they be making up fake company names. It's really just them. But yeah. to say like, here's the fake Well, no. Company. It's their supplier. Yeah. But they'll use like alias It's like names. a fancy name. Best Buy, May 6 of 2023. Well, they won't last till December. Uh, shake well, refrigerate after opening, contains caramel color. Now this is a blend of real dairy cream, spiced rum, and mm. French brandy. Ooh. French brandy, so. It's a little bit more than you usually have in one of these bottled eggnogs, like the Southern Comfort, you know, which is the Southern Comfort. Now here's the weird thing. I went to Trader Joe's, and they had this and another product with the same exact label, but the other one said wine based. Oh. And the wine based mm. was a slightly different ABV mm -hmm. and it was $7.99. The liqueur, liquor base, was $8.99. Hmm. So I said, I gotta buy both, you know. And I haven't tried the wine yet. Okay. Hmm. Here you pour because I always feel like I'm cheating people. And Je you said Justin was gonna get to pour. Yeah. <laughs> well, so let's see if I cheat anyone. I don't know what we need caramel color in here for. Uh, because people don't like it if it's too light. Yeah, pour a little bit on the, uh... Why? That's so silly. Eggnog, whatever. Yeah, a little bit on the leg of the, uh... My friend sent me a picture of Chobani, or Oatly, made this oat milk peppermint eggnog. I might have to try it. Oh, oh, yeah, and then they've got the, the, the peppermint bark one. There's the uh, uh, Pennsylvania Dutch peppermint bark. Mm -hmm. My third's got the Pennsylvania Dutch strawberries and cream. Mm -hmm. Everybody's just going with all kind. Of, where is it? Where's the um, drip? It's on the uh, on this chair right here. Wait, I'll do it with a wet towel. Let's bottle. just let's, okay. let's continue the video and then we can yeah. clean we'll things up. We'll worry about up. that later. Let's worry about that later. Sorry, Peter. Right you, you have a captive audience here. They're not trying oh, to watch yeah. you clean up. I'm not worried about that. I'll fix that. An eggnog drip. Okay. That's enough. All right, <coughs> the, cat, the cat will look it up. No, it's <laughs> there you go. She, she gonna be peeing on the bed tonight. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. Anyway, so, so that, that was an inside joke. That was, sorry. And that's a, there's a legal description of eggnog on the U.S. government website. It has to contain a certain percentage of cream. It has to contain a certain percentage of egg yolk and egg white. Okay. It's not just like, you can't just call something eggnog. Right? Yes. It has to be a, a certain legal Some parameter. hair on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like brand, uh, bourbon. Bourbon has to be a certain percentage. Well, it smells like boozy eggnog. I can tell you that. Oh, uh, yeah. It smells good. Uh, it smells like the holidays. Here we go. Cheers. Mm, cheers. Oh, cheers. see that kind. Well, I've been loving it. I've been loving this stuff. And I've been putting it in my coffee. My second cup. Ooh, it's got cinnamon in it? No. It's... It's the spice rum. Oh, that spice rum. That's Girl, spice that rum. spice comes That's through. It's all spice, it's clove, or Dude, cinnamon. cinnamon. Oh, no, no, no. Mm -mm. There's enough in the spice. That spice yeah, rum it's takes care of it. Haul out the holly. Yeah, it's. Mm -hmm. I, know it's mm -hmm. it. I noticed that when I first tried it. The spice rum gave it a real strong uh, cinnamon kick. Uh, yeah, cinnamon kick. It's like the initial sip is like, mmm. Yeah. And then the aftertaste is like, buh, 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 cinnamon. Yeah. It's not bad though. I would. This would be good in coffee. Oh man. During the holiday season, I love putting eggnog in my coffee. The coffee's been going great every morning. Putting this in, I make an ice cream with this. Ooh, an eggnog ice cream. I yeah. think on the Trader Joe's website. A milkshake. Oh, I love an eggnog milkshake. That sounds. I think on the Trader Joe's website they were talking about you could have it. Straight out the bottle, or pour it over ice, or even better, they were saying put it over ice cream. I would pour this yep. over ice cream, like Ooh, that. that would yep. be good. I can see making a desserty cocktail with this, mm -hmm. like a little egg, an eggnog cocktail. 
Do you think it's? Don't you think it's a great deal for eight ninety nine? Eight ninety nine, yeah. Yeah, well, especially you. You do not need a lot of this. Oh no! I That's just, already. This bottle would last me all through the holiday season. I think Trader yeah. Joe's gets great products. Yeah, I love TJ's. I'm thinking of the eggnog I would just buy from the store. It doesn't have the right, the same body. The eggnog from the store is a little bit thicker, but yeah. for just a couple bucks more, you get it with alcohol and you get it with stronger flavor profiles. Yeah, under ten dollars. Yeah. I've had problems trying to do my own blends where it doesn't come out right. Mm -hmm. Making your own homemade eggnog. Yeah, like it's like you can't get the alcohol mix with the product. Right. I'll find you a good recipe. But these companies, they just get it perfect, you know, like... Because yeah. the Lord knows you have enough to experiment with, so mm -hmm. I'll get you, I'll, I I'll send you a good recipe. But I tried, like, making my own Michelada, and it just didn't come out right. You know, I did what they did, you know, what the clam made. Have you ever heard of a spaghetti? The beer. Kamado is good. It's High Life and Aperol. I don't know, I haven't heard of Anyway, that. there's almost like, okay, this will sound weird, <laughs> but in the aftertaste, there's almost like a bubblegum taste. Yeah, that are, well, the artificial bubblegum specifically. Yes, that, that you get. The one that we, get, we had as kids was the thick little pink one yes. that was. Like, what that. is that? What is that? It's a caramel color. But it is that, the, the bubble yum, is that what it's called, maybe? In the roll? Yeah, 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 yeah. The more I'm drinking it, the more it tastes like bubblegum. Mm. Why? But these are the ingredients. Dairy cream, spice rum, and French brandy. Well, the French brandy is not going to make it taste like bubblegum. No. So it's got to be coming from the spice rum. That's the three, there's only three ingredients. Dairy cream, spice rum, and French brandy. That's it. Now, when you say spice rum, though, that opens up a world of possibilities because you could add, like, literally any spice. Any spice. Yeah. It's not a limitation. I don't know. I kind of prefer the Southern Comfort. I don't know. To tell maybe, you. It, maybe it's like a low quality vanilla extract. Maybe. I would buy this like if I was going to a holiday party with people who didn't have like super highbrow tastes. So you're saying initially it tastes good, but then when you let it. The more I'm drinking it, the more I'm like, oh, oh I don't know about this. Maybe that's why they make it with such a strong cinnamon kick, is so like you can kind of lean into that, lean into that, but if you pull your attention away from that... Something's not kosher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I wonder, again, putting it in like a dark roast coffee or something, like maybe that flavor wouldn't be as apparent as us just sitting here drinking it on its own. Like, it's probably honestly not meant to be, like, m most people probably buy this and don't just sit there and drink it on its own. Well, it says you could. Uh, I mean... You can, three options. Yeah. I'm just saying, what do most people probably do with it? Put it in some... Now, some know. people drink it warm, too. Now... That might be good. Put it in some hot other, chocolate. Other pre-mixed eggnogs that you see around... And this is the first year I've seen this. I'll tell you. I haven't seen it before. You get the Pennsylvania Dutch, which is like the I most do, popular yes, one. Yes, that stuff's popular. good. That's the biggest one from Philadelphia. Yeah, the then Southern you've got, Comfort. It's Southern Comfort, but it's not pre-mixed. It's just the uh, eggnog. Oh, really? No, I think they do make a pre-mixed one. Uh, no? I haven't seen it. I've just seen the one in the dairy cooler. Never mind. Then they make the uh, Evan Williams. There's the uh, Zachariah Harris. There's the... Uh, the um, I'm trying to think what they got over there at the store. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot. You know, this there. makes me want to make my own. I, I like them all. This one is a little mm. peculiar. But I've been enjoying it, but then what have I been enjoying it in? Coffee. I haven't been drinking it neat. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I don't know how y'all would score it. Oh, uh... Mm -hmm. I'm going to get an 80 for me. It's going to be a B minus. It, um... Marginally good, but not really good. Marginally good. I would I would really drink it in things. I would drink Put it with it dessert. Put it ice cream. But I specifically took some very big sips at the end, and when I took the big sips, the cinnamon didn't come through. It felt gummy in the texture. Like, not chalky, but like goopy almost hmm. and then that i just as soon as you said the bubblegum taste that that's prominent for me and i yeah. think maybe like a, a low quality vanilla extract that's really weird to me i'm also gonna say the same thing marginally good like it's not repulsive like no, i finished no. it but it's not like i would be hyped by it i'm curious to try their wine one it serves the purpose of like the spice and the cream and to, the, yeah. yeah curious to hear what you think about that one so maybe you gonna come around for christmas time what? You're gonna come here for Christmas time? Yeah. So we could, I could save it for them. Okay. For a month. You know, All right, we'll see I'm you guys in a month and see how the I feel about the trip. It's Trader probably gonna be similar. Long. It'll probably be similar, just weirder, you know? Which not necessarily a good thing. All right, so, but, uh, 
I initially liked this a lot. I gave it an A. I was like loving it. But now that I'm thinking about it, <clears throat> it does bring out some kind of little weird flavors. And um, I think that's partially due to yeah. me drinking it down. Well, I, I guess... I think it's more concentrated, so some of the stuff probably settled. Oh. So now you get more of the, like, hot... Because when, yeah. when I first bought it, it was, like, really thick at the bottom. Like, it was really thick. Mm. And I was just shaking it like... I guess, yeah, so you've I'm also thinking, been drinking it in your coffee, which probably tastes better. Oh, definitely. So I'm thinking it's settled. So, uh, and remember, natural flavor could be peppermint. Could be anything. Spearmint. It could be any kind of like really odd product that they didn't necessarily pay a lot for. So um, I don't think um, bubble gum would be a natural flavor, but uh, no, but some <laughs> combination some of taste reminds bit, yeah, me of bubble yeah. gum. I don't know why. To give some complexity to it, but uh, you know, low price point. And, and then they, and the spearmint could be part of the spice room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I could be anything. All right, well, hey, well, I'm gonna go with 85 this time. B, it's good. Y'all saying it's like kind of good but anyway we tried it but that's all we can do is try it you know so uh <clears throat> but maybe you might want to get some some good quality chocolate ice cream or chocolate mint and pour this over it mm -hmm. that'd be really good real good and we're going to end this review by saying well you can't go take a tour of the distillery come on salt. down to trader joe's yeah. your local trader joe's yeah we end this by saying go shop at trader joe's go get some cookie butter that's all i can say thank you very much uh -huh.